What's going on? My name is Jacqueline Cousins and I'm gonna do Monday Night Raw June 17, 2013. Uh first I wanna go through some payback payback reviews. Now for those of you who watch payback pay per view, good for you. Um, Curtis Axel is the new Intercontinental Championship. AJ Lee is the new Divas Champion. The Shield, Reigns and Seth Rollins is the tag team, and Dean Ambrose is the United States Champion. Alberto won back the World Heavyweight Championship. He came back strong. Sam Punk won. John Cena still a WWE champion, and Sheamus beat Damian Sandow. Uh, okay, now for the show. Alberto Doria comes out. Why is every? Why is everybody? And uh, I'm I'm sitting there running. Why is everybody boo booing while we go? Why we call her Rodriguez and Alberto Del Rio. I see why. Dolph came back on a five league layoff. Some stupid shit. Uh many people don't like the way Alberto won the title, but what about the way Dolph Ziggler won the belt, huh? Y'all didn't say nothing y'all didn't say nothing about Dolph Ziggler beat Alberto with an injured leg. He blames the people who cheered for him. I don't see why the people... I don't, I don't blame Alberto. I don't see how people going to cheer for somebody like that. And people are cheering for Dolph Ziggler's name. Jack Swagger disrespects the Mexican people. And all I hear is USC. That's Alberto's words. I don't even see why they cheer for people like the Jack Swagger either. I mean, he's got brain. He got brainwashed by Zeb Coulter, we Mr. We the People. He's talking about he's going to give the people a second chance to give them the respect that he deserves. Well, people don't like you. Alberto, how are people gonna respect you? But then Sam Punk shows up. <laughs> Sam Punk wants to talk to Alberto again. He talks about his 434 days of being WWE champion. Sam Punk says he's out there that that because he heard Alberto said that he was the best in the world, he wants to challenge Alberto Daria. Paul. All of a sudden, wants to say his piece. Why do Paul always got something to say? Uh, say when every time his clients are in are in shambles, his so-called clients. Paul kept talking, um, and Paul Paul just can't. Paul trying to Sam Punk trying to get his get Paul to stop talking. Paul just kept talking. He can't shut up. And he, what he just said was well. My client don't fight for free, and he goes on and on and on. And Paul finally stops, and CM Punk finally stops him. Paul, he was like, "What is you doing?" Paul Hammond said something about him being beaten from last night, and the title wouldn't be on the line. Alberto said, "You don't want a piece of me." <laughs> Now, Vicky Guerrero comes out and makes the match of Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk. Now, Vicky got a major surprise for all the for for all the McMahons, including Triple H. Paul ha Paul claims that he's speaking out of concern. Yeah, right. Paul claims that he was speaking out of concern. CM Punk tells him that he can't. He that he almost caused him the match. 
which was true. CM Punk then goes on saying, I don't need your help. I'm not your client, and I don't want you at ringside. And I will, but don't worry, I will always be a Paul Heyman guy. And you can tell by the look on Paul Heyman's face that that, that is not good enough. But who gives a fuck about what Paul Heyman thinks? Ray Barry takes on Curtis Axel. Vicky, then Vicky comes out and puts have him facing Christian. He came, you know, Christian. Christian. He comes back. He comes back. And he beat Wade Barry. Um. Well, Corey Rose, Vicky gives the fan a chance to decide which stipulation for the match between Wendy Orton and Daniel Bryan. It's in, in the three options. Option A is no DQ. Op no disqualification. Option B, no count out. Or option C, two out of three false match, which is interesting. Very good, Vicky. And we got Cody Rhodes versus Cody Rhodes and Damian Sano versus Sheamus in a handicap match. I hate I hate handicap matches with a passion. I really don't like handicap matches. Okay. They beat Sheamus, but he broke it Cody Rhodes. Dumbass. Vicky talks to Triple H to see what he thinks. She claimed that she was about to call RVD and this and that and this and that. Somebody's texting me. I'll get to that later. Triple H says, you guys wasn't on the phone with us. But then the S.H.I.E.L.D. Then Triple H is talking about S.H.I.E.L.D. running her mouth and then tells Vicky to take control. Okay, I don't know if she can handle the damn shield. Brian is warming up. Kane comes in. He asks if they can talk, but then he is somewhat to claims that he's too busy. They started arguing over what happened at Payback and all that bullshit. Now we get to Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. They get to have a, thanks to their fans, folk large amount of votes they get to have a DQ match Randy Orton run and Randy Orton help, walks over to help Daniel Bryan and no Daniel Bryan it wasn't no self pity we should stop acting like that and we should stop acting like people feeling sorry for you AJ Lee comes out the Divas Champion Biggie Links with Biggie Links. Now she claims she was proud of the way she did to Caitlyn. I wasn't. She was goes on and on and on how she was messing with Caitlyn's mind the whole time and she's the hero. Okay, let me say something about AJ. AJ is play, plays mind games with Caitlyn. But yes, yeah, she wants to be the hero of this. A hero does not play with somebody's mind like that, K AJ. AJ Lee. Not AJ Styles, because AJ Styles is not on hero type. So, there's, and then she goes on saying that there's not a woman around here that is brilliant and courageous and as strong as she is. Okay. Neither one of these match her, match the shit that she did to Caitlyn. Brilliant, courageous, and strong. Are you out of your mind? Then she calls out every woman. And then Stephanie comes out. Then, then AJ go. When the McMahon's comes out, this is what kills me. Wrestlers act the fool, but when the McMahon's comes out, they started sucking up to them. Kissing their feet. AJ does the same thing. Then Steph wanted to say, say, but then Steph, Stephanie wants to say her piece, Stephanie McMahon, 
and then she first she said congratulations she's a true underdog what I don't understand and she got the diva Riley up and stuff but what I don't understand is why do you perpetuate this stereotype about women that how we vicious and conni conniving and manipulated in that manipulative in that we would rather tear each other down than build each other up I mean what you did to Caitlyn was degrading the women everywhere it is time to start acting like a champion that's what Stephanie says AJ replied and says well you're right I should be acting more like you if I should be like you in fact instead of dating a wrestler maybe I should marry one Then she started talking about Stephanie's daddy issues, which is absolutely none of her business. Stephanie was like, well, did you say you were brilliant? If you were so brilliant, I would expect something a little more original. AJ claims that she was original. What she did to Caitlyn was wildly original. That was my masterpiece. And then she, uh, AJ's gives these crazy eyes like that's supposed to intimidate Stephanie um Stephanie was like well you better realize who you're talking to I'm a McMahon and nobody does crazy things better than us now if you want to be a champion I, was su I suspect like I said before I would suggest like I said before you need to start acting like one and then AJ goes on and then AJ started saying, I am the Divas Champion. I'm more like you. Even younger. And then, oh my god. Well, Stephanie lowered down the mic, but she didn't lower it enough. So I can still hear her. She's like, well, you're the Divas Champion, but guess, guess what? I can take it all away from you just like that. As a matter of fact, even if I want to, you won't have a job anymore. And she said it just like that. So, before Stephanie even finishes, Caitlyn and the Divas comes out. She started saying something. Steph, Steph, but then Stephanie went up there and said something to Caitlyn right quick. Okay, I'm going to let that by because of what you've been through, but don't ever interrupt me again. And that goes for all of you. Stephanie left. Caitlyn cat finished cook front AJ and then attack her. And AJ went freaking ballistic. That's what you get, AJ. Recognize who you who you dealing with before you start dealing with them before you start humiliating them on stage like that. Let me get into this uh what okay, remember what Caitlyn did I forgot to bring this up, but remember what Caitlyn, when Caitlyn was looking for her little secret admirer, and, and she found one, she thought it was Ezekiel, but they all played her, and then AJ comes out here talking about, oh, you just trash and all that bullshit, and then, and then Caitlyn attacks her. First of all, what AJ did was kind of stupid. I don't know what, how shady it is. How you gonna sit up here and use a secret admirer? And on top of that, why would you, why would you get in her head just to win, just so you could be cha Divas Champion? That doesn't make any sense. I don't expect that from somebody who been through. And why are you blaming all this on Caitlyn? All your boyfriend troubles on Caitlyn. Caitlyn didn't ask you to, to, to date those men. She did not ask you to date those men. Why the hell are you... Why the hell would you insist on dating them anyway? Especially the guys that don't even like you. Come on now. Now, back to this. 
Dave Ramos takes on Kane. The match starts. Kane was on a roll. He has Dean Ray wants him. Then the two Shield members, Raven and the Seth, come out and attack Kane. That's just worse than Aces. That's just like Aces and Eights. Really? Y'all just like Aces and Eights. Now, I hear that Mark Henry's retired. Well, everybody started hugging him and this and that and this and that. The Shield walks around like they're happy. Vicky confronts the Shield about the match. Vicky makes fun of her. The Shield makes fun of her. Like she's supposed to be funny. Vicky was going to say something. But then McMahon walks in talking about some awesome match. You know, I never did like... This is why I call Rufus aggression. You know, I never did like Kane. And this and that and this and that. And that was it. Zeb Coulter comes out. He talks about how the government was lying to us and this and that and this and that. I'm like, well, whatever. Then he brings out somebody that is going to be, that is going to be with them side by side. He decided to bring in Antonio Cesaro from Switzerland. Step culture claim he don't like immigrants coming in this country stealing the America's job, but yet you bringing in somebody from Switzerland, which is another country, not not a state in this country. Step, you're you, you're a goddamn hypocrite. I swear you are. He takes on William Regal. He's supposed to be taking on William Regal in a match. Antonio Cesaro won. Where the fuck is Jack Swagger at? He, and then he holds the flag, talking about, don't flag on me. Okay, here it is. John Cena comes out. He won three stages of hell. Buyback is not cleared. Well, he might be not be back soon. John Cena makes an announcement. 2012 was the worst year, but now, this year, he's back on top. Um, he's already know there's a majority of fans that don't even like him, and a majority of friends that do like him. But there's, but the people that know when he step in and out, he go to war for the people that likes him. For the people that believes in him, he holds no grudges against any challenge. He steps in front of them, and then Mark Henry comes out, not to fight John Cena, no, but to make a statement. He offers a handshake to John Cena, and John Cena was going to leave, but yet Mark Henry wants him to stay. I don't know why. Dude holds a sign and says, Mark Harry fan. Which was really nice. He said he respect the company and the wrestlers and the fans. And he's thinking about wrestling some more, one more match before he retire. He talks about how he got a chance to travel the world and meet new people. He spent, sent his wishes to his family that supported him. And then he tells them, I'm coming home. John Cena comes over and suddenly raises his hands up. Then suddenly Mark Henry gives, gives him this big old grand slam. Slam him on the ground. And I'm thinking, I was confused at first. But then Mark got us looking stupid. First of all, why don't you use the retirement and your family just to get to the WWE Champion? Really, Mark Henry? Really? That is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. That is the most re insulting. That is insulting to the re re retired wrestlers everywhere. That's so stupid. 
Paul talks to Kurt Axel and gets interrupted by Matt with questions. Then Steve talks about CM Punk getting on his own, being on his own, and Paul claims that he's Paul's best friend, and he was talking about Kurt Axel. And he wants to talk about Kurt Axel. I ain't starting about Paul. Um, Sin Cara takes on Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel won. Okay, Mr. McMahon is talking to Vicky Guerrero, saying how she did a great job, and he talks about Mark Henry and his bullshit retirement speech that he pulled with John Cena and the fans. Vicky, Vicky made a match of Mark Henry versus John Cena at the Money in the Bank. Mr. McMahon and then Stephanie walks in telling Vicky to show th that, that this show is out of control and you need to be a leader and then Vicky Vince was like what the fuck is she doing? And he's like I told Vicky she did a good job and then she goes Stephanie goes on and on and on then Triple H shows up nagging her about the damn shield. Vince was clueless about the shield situation. Now everybody tells Vicky who to listen to and that and that could be so confusing. I bet you they're gonna start this family view again. Like they started that shit in two ninety eight, which is a long time ago. Sam Punk on his way to the ring. Paul stops him just to talk to him and he he claimed he understand and that he loves him da -da 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 -da. he goes out in the ring against I borrow the real why did the match start and then Bertie acting all scared and he claimed to be the best in the world why is Alberto doing it now then Punk goes after him and it's on Alberto the real now he quitting what the fuck and then Dolph Ziggler comes out and attacks Alberto the real. Dolph Ziggler is going off. Now Punk, Sam Punk was getting confused. He won by a count up but he was confused. Now here come Brack Lesnar, the Paul Heyman savior. You know, I bet you Paul sent Brack Lesnar out to Sam Punk. I bet you he'd be acting foolish, but he did send Brack Lesnar out to Paul at the Sam Punk. He started walking around Sam Punk stalking him now he wants to talk instead he gives him an F5 what do you think about this review I will see you in the next video love you all and good night